crazy. Okay, the one that increased defense. Okay, but all not a lot like, I mean, they, they they decline and then some increase. But but the fact is overall it actually maintained. And what they did was they actually increased defense instead of increasing all the rest and cutting down on defense. Now my two stories in defense. You heard talk about commissions and stuff like that. These are all quite uh, shocking stories. Early this year, we, we thought of spending money. Government just signed two contracts. Rapid succession in February. 13.8 billion ringgit. 13.8 billion ringgit of two contracts. First contract, 6 billion ringgit to buy six naval patrol vessels. Okay, 6 billion ringgit. So each petrol vessel, 1 billion. That's a lot of money. And our defense have got bad experience with building ships, ships that cannot float. We talk about submarines that cannot sink, we have ships that cannot float as well. Mm -hmm. So now they are giving another set of orders, 6 billion. 6 billion ringgit, 1 billion each. I'm not a defense expert, but nowadays with internet, anyone can get basic data. So I checked naval petrol vessels, search. Oh, New Zealand just bought. How much? 240 million each. We are buying ours for 1 billion ringgit. But of course, New Zealand may be buying Proton Saga model. We are buying the Mercedes or BMW class model. So you search uh, other naval petrol vessels. Uh, Israel should be a good example. They are always like uh, fighting wars in Arab. Okay, so they need to have very good equipment. How much do they buy their naval petrol vessels? 770 million or less than that. Okay? Ours, 1 billion. So I asked in Parliament, hey, why uh, our naval petrol vessels 1 billion? I didn't accuse yet. I always do this approach. Very simple. Ask why first. Raise the question. Oh, the minister went into a, a huge rant. Oh, you are trying to be a traitor to the country. You are trying to sell our state secrets to the world. How can we tell you exactly what we bought? Otherwise, everyone would know what we have in our ships. Uh, and then he went to the extent at one stage to say that uh, this Tony Pua, uh, he hinted, okay, but he didn't, he, he said this lah, okay, he said this Tony Pua last time study in Singapore, and, uh, he wanted to be an MP in Singapore, you know. <laughs> What's that got to do with this? <laughs> but he cannot become an MP, you know why not? Because he was arrested in Singapore and charged in court. But because he knows the, 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 the officers in Singapore, uh, uh, he could settle the problem. But he, as a result, he cannot become MP in Singapore. He come back to Malaysia to become MP. This was reported in newspaper. This is what Ahmad Zayed said. And what he was hinting? He was hinting that my settlement in Singapore is so that I stay for them in Malaysia. This is our minister. <laughs> so, at the end, after relentless pressure, he came to Parliament to give an answer. Because the whole media was talking about it. He gave an answer. Tony Poa, you don't know anything, you don't talk so much. <laughs> we are buying top of the class ships. Very good ships. You want to whack aeroplanes, can whack aeroplanes. You want to sink ships, you can sink ships. You want to cut down submarines, also can. <laughs> Who you want to attack, I don't know. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> but our ship can do all those things. In fact, it's so good, it has a special name for it. It's not your normal petrol vessel, naval petrol vessel. It's called littoral combatant ship. <laughs> I haven't heard before. Go back, check internet again. <laughs> littoral combatant ship. <laughs> Google, what is it? Wow, really very good. Oh. All those things the minister say can do, can do. Oh. Ships, like, aeroplane, like, submarines can. In fact, it's so good, there's only one country that has it. Yes. United States of America. And how many does US have? They have two. How many do I? They buy six. <laughs> and what I heard, what I heard was there was a rumor, this is unconfirmed, uh, that because the minister promised so much during his speech, the cost of delivery has gone up. <laughs> In US, when they built the littoral combatant ship, it was 1.6 billion each. Not 1 billion. 1.6 billion each. So because the cost has gone up, the budget I heard has went up to from 6 billion to 10 billion. I asked in this recent parliamentary session, they refused to confirm. They said everything is still being negotiated. That was the official reply from the minister. Okay? So we wait and see whether it will be inflated to 10 billion. billion. That was 6 billion to buy 6 ships. 
Second one, seven point eight billion to buy what? They yeah, want to buy these uh, armored personnel carriers. Okay, uh, armored personnel carriers are like tanks, but they are not tanks. No big bomb up there. Okay, they have a gun on top. They are used to carry army personnel. Okay, as the name implies, armored personnel. Okay, two hundred and fifty-seven units of this. Two hundred fifty-seven units of this for how much? Seven point eight billion. Your calculator cannot count. I guarantee you. <laughs> so I have to find some spreadsheet. Ta -ta 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 -ta. How much each? 30 million each. Oh, sounds like a lot of money, but again, not military men don't know anything. Call my friend in Singapore. This one really called my friend in Singapore. Hey friend, you see one of these things before. APC, all, they all go to army. Man. Go, 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 go. You think uh, we buy this uh, APC uh, for 30 million each? Uh? Is it a fair price? Wow, your APC inside got buffed up one. <laughs> 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 Go back check internet again lah. Portugal just bought their APC. How much did they pay? 4.5 million ringgit. How much did we pay? 30 million ringgit. Just now was Proton Saga and BMW. This time is Kanchil and Lamborghini. <laughs> so maybe we are buying the Lamborghini. So check lah, the best APC in the world. Used by the United States to attack Afghanistan, attack Iraq, bought by Australia, and more recently purchased by Saudi Arabia. How, did, how much did Saudi Arabia pay for their APCs? 9.8 million ringgit. And we are paying 30 million ringgit. But before we accuse the government, ask first one. So again, I ask the minister. Minister, minister. I just wrote, in fact, this question just submitted this current parliamentary session. I just submitted. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, this wasn't. We are, the, the, the current parliamentary session was a separate question. I asked, why, why the difference? He said, oh, difference is because of all these uh, uh, specialized equipment, la, your maintenance, la, your transfer of skills la, locally, uh, whatever. La. So, everything. Then I asked, um, you know, we, we tend to like to buy things overpriced. No? But at least if we get the good equipment, la, our soldiers are so not too bad, okay, by us. So did we buy from US, General Dynamics, the best defense military equipment manufacturer in the world? Did we buy from US? No. From Europe? No. Australia? No. Buy from where? Malaysia. Malaysia for such good company, yeah? Same reaction. Which, 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 which company is it? DRB Highcom. DRB Highcom lorries, I've heard of, but I have not heard of DRB Highcom armored personnel carriers. So, you know, as MPs, uh, we try to get a bit of privilege. Uh. Just like the submarines, uh, we always accuse the submarines of uh, uh, not being able to sing, right? Uh, so now the minister scolded us in parliament. It has been repaired. You all cannot talk about it anymore. In fact, it has been repaired. I want to prove to you, I invite all of you to go to Langkawi on Monday, this coming Monday, to see the submarine and sit in it. I don't dare ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like MPs maybe got me a bit. So I said, why don't you instead let me see this APC from DRV? I want to see what this 30 million ringgit uh, APC is like, you know? This, this one I know cannot sing. Uh. I'm sure can go in and come out. <laughs> see what you got last time. Can go in and come out. It cannot. Why cannot? They have not produced anything yet. <laughs> Never produced one in their life. So, so if they haven't manufactured any yet, they can have really, at least show us the you know, prototype model. Lah. The model, you know. You, you buy country also, you have to test drive first. So at least you buy a 30 million vehicle, you must at least have a look at it. Prototype ready next year. So even though prototype is only ready next year, the government already signed contract, 257 million, sorry, 257 units at 7.8 billion ringgit to, to, to buy these APCs. Then a month or two after I raised this issue, um, someone sent me an email. Go and check this link. So I click on the link. Oh, it's a Turkey news website, Turkish news. What's the link? The link is reported that DRB Haikom subsidiary, Death Tax and Rehabrahat, signed a contract with Turkish defense contractor, FNSS defense system, 
to buy 257 units of armored personnel carriers. This was the single largest defense export contract for Turkey. And how much was it? 1.7 billion units. Oh. Oh. How much should we pay? 7.8 billion ringgit. Oh, this is too much. Again, got my question, Nike. Menteri, Menteri. Can you explain uh, why we buy 7.8 billion ringgit? And then we read in the news report that DRB Highcom buy from Turkey for 1.7 billion ringgit. Can you explain the difference? At least that give the chance of the minister to explain. Minister replies, come back. And reply, come back. Minister reply, first reply. Tony Paul, you're wrong. No. <laughs> What's wrong? We did not buy for 7.8 billion ringgit. How much? 7.55 billion ringgit. <laughs> Probably some exchange trade calculation wrong somewhere. Ah, okay, except I'm wrong. Okay, 7.55 billion ringgit. But there's still 5.8 billion difference between what is paid in Turkey and what is paid uh, here. And the next reply comes. We do not know what was signed between DRB Icom and the Turkish company. That's it. This is parliamentary responsibility of the government. How can they not know? They must know. They must know every single item and equipment that they are purchasing within this thing. They didn't, this is not a buy, take all type thing. These are all piecemeal, your defense system, your weapons, your, 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 your software, everything inside. The army needs to know A to Z. There's no way they don't know. It's a case of don't care about me. This is the, the amount of respect that your minister has for the parliament. And what is worse, in the same news, Turkish report, same Turkish report. It was noted that the Defence Minister for Malaysia, Dato Sri Ahmad Daidi, and the Defence Minister for Turkey witnessed the signing of the contract. Pictures were there. So, you ask me, this is your answer to your defence question. I took too much time already. More questions. <laughs>